Hey guys, I'm back making another diecast review. I got a really good friend here with me. That's my friend Jack. You can go subscribe to him at the NASCAR Checker Flag series and Check the All Star Showdown today. It should be uploaded today if I'm not that Yeah, what to do? <laughs> want a cookie? Oh my that's one of his signature lines now. <laughs> so Today we are doing a diecast review on a really, really, really underfunded team, Beach BK Racing. So as you see, Alex Bowman, the 23, Ryan Truex, the 83, both drive for BK Racing. Um, I got Ryan Truex yesterday, and I got Alex Bowman as a little birthday present. So first, we're going to review Bowman. Okay, as you see right here, Alex Bowman, BK Racing, ages 4 and up, turn it over here, let me try to focus it, uh, here, Alex Bowman, tw number 23, Dr. Pepper 2014 Camry, limited edition, um, right here, 164 scale stock car, limited edition collectibles, action racing collectibles, still the choice of the champions, right here, it's ages 4 and up, right here, NASCAR, the greatest sport in the world, yeah, and you like NBA, I do. Okay, now let me take this nice little car out of the box. Adios box. So right here. As you see, he sponsors one of my favorite sodas, or should I say my favorite soda, Dr. Pepper. Um, see, he's number 23. Right here, always one of a kind. Burger King, one of the greatest restaurants of all time, even though that place changed so much. Um, right here, Dr. Pepper, the American National logo. As you see, he's a rookie. He was contending for Rookie of the Year this year. Shockingly, didn't even make it. Didn't even make it. Um, right here it says Dr. Pepper, drpepper.com. As you see, it's a Toyota, because you can tell by the headlights, or the taillights. Dr. Pepper right here. Always one of a kind, Burger King. And the stickers on the side right here. Um, right here it says NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Mobile One, 3M, right here, Goodyear. Um, right here on the windshield, it says Bowman. On the roof, it says DrPepper.com. And on the on the trunk, it says Always One of a Kind. Um, as you see, it's a Toyota. This is on the, this is on the old mold. That's, what, that's what's so good about this. And now, let me take out his teammate. A guy who, this is my opinion, a guy who stinks so bad. No shit, he's Larson's brother, his brother drives for a smaller team, you know. Furniture Oak, they actually, they are a small team, but they race like a big team, and Martin's actually done alright in it, but he's kind of driving for a little team, not a humongous operation. So, both of the Truex brothers, well, before Ryan got released, were kind of running for a little team. Here he is, Ryan Truex, you see Ryan Truex and BK Racing, same thing on the on the Bowman box, ages 4 and up, right here, Ryan Truex, number 83, Borla Exhaust 2014 Camry Limited Edition, right here, 164 scale stock car limited edition collectible, action racing collectible, still choice of champions, ages 4 and up, NASCAR, once again, greatest sport in the world, now let me take this th nice beauty little car out of the car, I mean out of the box, adios box. Sadly, this car is on the new mold, but shockingly, this version has no defects. Um, it's kind of a nice car, by the way, even though Ryan, even though it was driven by a guy who can't even stay with a team for a full season. Um, right here, number 83, the car used to be driven by David Ruderman when it, was, when it had Burger King all over it. So let's just say if you combine Bowman's car and Truex's car, you'll have David Ruderman's car. Um, right here has an exhaust pipe with a flame coming out of it, Borla, um, right here, Borla, Borla, Borla exhaust. Borla everywhere! Yeah, www.borla.com, see it's a Toyota, you can tell by Camry, the grill and the headlights, number 83. Oh, shockingly, another Borla, is another exhaust pipe, number 83 again. Oh, wow, another Borla logo. And he, as you see, he's a rookie. He, he was a rookie of the year contender for this year. As you can tell by Bowman. But these two suck so bad. Oh, can I tell you something? 
I usually, you know how Burger King, or, or not Burger King, well, BK Racing, they sponsor a lot of foods. When I first saw the Borla car, I was either drunk or, like, half asleep. I thought Borla meant some sort of hot sauce until I saw the car. I was like, it's an exhaust pipe thing, not hot sauce. Well, if you, could, you could tell because it had an exhaust pipe on the side. Yeah, I just like, I don't know why I thought it was a hot, uh, type of flame and stuff. But, um, Ryan Truex was the last race, or the last time he set foot in the 83 was when he was practicing at Michigan. He got injured in a huge crash that involved his car hitting the wall so hard, I'll show you. Like, pretend Bowman's car is the wall. Truex went into the wall and his car got lifted off the ground and it went back onto the ground. His car was really destroyed, so he was injured, and then that's what led J.J. Yaley. Shockingly, that he got a good, that he got a better ride than that stinking extreme motorsports. Because the car that ran like two miles an hour at Texas, he did better than a BK car that really. <laughs> a little, little information about J.J. Yaley's ugly team. It, it bought out Swan Energy Racing. That's why Parker Kligerman hasn't been racing. Swan Energy did better than what Extreme Motorsports was doing. And, and they had David Stremme. David Stremme is is an all right driver. He races for one of my favorite teams, Ganassi. Yeah. So now, um, the 83 right now is driven by J.J. Yaley. Um, for one race this year, the, um, the New Hampshire race, the Chase New Hampshire race, I think. Um, Travis Quapple went back to Burger, to Bur went back to Burger King Racing to drive the 93, his old number. Um, but um, they need to make it. They need to make a Cole Witt car now because Cole Witt went from Swan Racing, which was bought out by Yaley's Ugly Extreme Motorsports. He oh, yeah. Fun fact for you, they were actually supposed to make a cool wood car, but they, they decided to make three different versions of a Jeff, the Jeff Ford Exalted car with a small sponsor difference. They could have made cool wood, they actually they was in the magazine, but they canceled it. Like, a lot of my favorite cars got canceled. I really want that wood. They gave it Reagan Hall of Fame. That's the only thing that pissed me about, uh, about why I know, except that there's really nothing to do with these two cars, but they made three different versions of the Jeff Ward Exalta car, the Normal Exalta, the Monaco, and the Finish Master, and there's a very, 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 very small, uh, small sponsor difference, which I think is stupid on what I know that. Yeah, and also, I make custom die casts, so I've actually been planning on trying to make Cole Witt. I've made Jack a couple of, a couple of custom And you're cars. making me Cole Witt. Yeah, and it's just saying I do this as a joke, but when I say you're not getting a custom car from me, he pretends, he pretends, keyword pretends to cry. Fuck you. Hey, what did I say about cursing? Kids, kids under like 12 years old don't watch this video. Very difficult language, fear and discretion in your eyes. So, um, I, so far I've made Jack, um, Joe Nemechek's number 29 car, you've seen some of his races, that's that's actually Matt Crafton, Milk and Duno, and Joe Nemechek. Oh, well, Crafton's running them too. I, I, I said Crafton. I also made him Kenny Schrader's Federated Auto Parts car, off the name of my series. Made him Miguel Paluto's 32 truck. Um, what else did I make you? Um, Mike Miguel and a castle. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, those are on the way for a Christmas present. And the Cole Witt, if a, a bonus car, if I'm a good boy, right, Nick? <laughs> yes. Sometimes Jack can get a little angry with me. Sometimes he can get cur he can get cursy a little bit. So I'm trying to make him go from being non-cursing to being a, a friendly kid since it's the holidays. I am a friendly person. You see, your your temper is raising. I just said I'm a friendly person. I know. Okay, well now it's time to sign off. But before we go, I just want to say. Little kids, at least maybe from, I guess, one years old up to um, maybe eight or eight years old, don't watch this video because it has a little bit of cursing. You're not supposed Fear to. Fear discretion is advised. You, you shouldn't. You don't want your mommy's going into your room and hearing all these words. Those bad and Jack, words Jack, Jack, apo Jack apologizes for using that language. What? Jack apologizes for mute for using that language. I'll just go with it. Yeah, sure I do. Okay. Sure. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay.
So, I'll see you guys later. As Marty, as Marty, we will always say, "Why I always sign off till we meet again." That was when he, that's when Dan Weldon died. But he always used to say, "I'm Marty Reed till we meet again." So this is Nicholas Michelini until we meet again.